Hey everyone, welcome back for another week of Tiny Tots. This week we are going to learn all about the letter L. L is for llama. So first off, I'm gonna start off with some book recommendations. With our llama theme trend, is your mama a llama? This book is an oldie, but a goodie, written by Deborah Warino, illustrated by Stephen Kellogg. A Couch for a Llama, written by Leah Gilbert. And this book is a super cute book about um, a family who's getting a new couch, getting rid of their old one, and somehow it ends up with a llama on it. <laughs> Llama Unleashes the Alpaca Lips <laughs> by Jonathan Stutzman, illustrated by Heather Fox. And this series right here, there's a ton of books um, of the Llama Llama books. This one specifically is Llama Llama Nighty Night by Anna Dudney. And then if you are into more um, Facts about llamas. Um, in our nonfiction section, we have this Nat Geo Kids book all about llamas, everything that you can want to know about them. All right, let's get started. In your Take and Make kit, you should have received this practice sheet. Practice along with me as we learn how to write an uppercase and a lowercase letter L. Let's begin. For an uppercase letter L, we are going to draw a vertical line followed by a horizontal line across the bottom. One, two. One, two. For a lowercase letter L, we're going to simply draw one vertical line straight down. So it looks the same as an uppercase letter L, just without the horizontal line. All the way down. And there you have it, an uppercase letter L, one, two, and a lowercase letter L, one. We've learned what an uppercase letter L looks like and a lowercase letter L, but what other words begin with the letter L? L is for lion, L is for lemon, L is for log, L is for lamp, and L is for leaf. In this week's Take and Make, you should have received a head, a cutout of some llama bangs, the furry head of the llama cutout, a brown paper bag, directions, and L is for other words that begin with the letter L. You will also need scissors, a crayon or a marker in a darker color, and then also a lighter colored crayon marker or colored pencil um, in a pink for the rosy cheeks on the llama. Let's begin. Step one, have an adult assist you with cutting out each piece of the llama from the papers provided. The pieces should include a fluffy head, a face, and some bangs. Step two, using glue dots, and I forgot to mention in the beginning, you should have included, you should have received glue dots as well. Glue the fluffy llama head to the top flap of the brown paper bag. So we're gonna take our brown paper bag, and this is going to be the top flap, which is going to be um, the basis of your puppet. You're gonna take some glue dots,
stick them on and glue the fluffy llama head to the top. Step three, place the llama's face in the middle of the fluffy head and glue into place. So I'm gonna put glue dots here for the face. I'm gonna stick the face in the middle. Step four, position the llama's bangs at the top of the face and glue to secure. Step five, use a pink marker or crayon to draw oval cheeks just below the llama's eyes. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use a marker, but you can use whatever utensil you would like. And I'm gonna draw pink rosy cheeks for our llama. And lastly, step six, use a dark brown or black marker or crayon. You could also use a colored pencil to draw fluffy wool lines all over the llama's head and body. So I'm gonna draw some fluffy wool-like lines all over and then down here on the body. And there you have it, your llama puppet. <laughs> Tune in next week as we learn all about the letter M on M is for Moose.